In this video, let's go ahead and learn about the check constraint. The check constraint allows us to add a constraint based on a Boolean condition. So the easiest way for me to explain this is if you go ahead and select everyone from this table right here called person. And you can see that we have a bunch of people and we have this column right here called gender. And currently we have male and female. So we could technically allow other genders here. We could technically have different genders here. But let's say that we want to keep only females and males in this table right here. Right. So if I open up VS Code and let's actually grab Fernanda right here. So we have Fernanda and for the actual uh, gender column. So let's actually change that to hello. Right. So if I grab this, so if I press command C and then go back to PSQL and press Q and then paste that and it fails because we have a unique constraint on email. So we've just added this in the previous video, which is fine. So let me go back to VS Code and actually change the email. So hello. And then let's grab the same row, go back to PSQL, paste that. And now that works. So now let's go ahead and select and then say unique and then gender from and then person. If I press enter and it's not unique, it's actually distinct. So select and then distinct and then gender from person. Enter. And you can see that in this table right here, we have three types of gender. So we have male and then hello and then female. So this really doesn't make sense. So what the actual check constraint allows us to do is to make sure that we can only add a string which matches either male or female. And to add the actual constraint is very simple. So we have to alter and then table person add constraint and then we have to give it a name. So gender and then constraint. And then the actual keyword that we have to use is this one check. So now inside of this check constraint, we pass a actual condition. And the condition that we want is that the gender column equals to female or gender equals uh, and it should be just one equal not double equals sorry. So equals to and then right here male. So if I press semicolon and then try to run this constraint, you see that this fails and it fails because we have one row which is violating this constraint and is this one right here. So there is a person with a gender of type hello. So let's go ahead and delete this person. So simply say delete from and then person where and then gender equals to hello. You can see that that was deleted. Now if I press up two times and then try to add the same constraint, you can see that now this time it works. So just let me go ahead and clear the screen and then press backslash and then D person. And now you can see that we have this check constraints and you can see our gender constraint. So check that the gender is equal to female or the gender is equal to male. Now let's go ahead and try and add the same person with the gender hello. So if I go back and then grab this line right here. So you can see that hello is the gender and then paste that in. You can see that that fails. So you have an error. New row for relation person violates check constraint. Now let's go ahead and change this to something else. So um, lol and then grab that. Go back, paste that in and you see that that doesn't work. So now our table is enforcing the right constraint, which is to only have either male or female 
in the gender column. So check constraints are really powerful and basically you can pretty much just have any condition that you want, right? Instead of the check function right here. So for example, for a product, you could say that a product should have a value amount bigger than zero. So that could be one constraint. And there are many, many constraints depending on your data set. This is all for now. If you have any questions, go ahead and drop me a message. Otherwise, join me in the next video. See ya.